Hello everybody, welcome to my latest video. Well, this one will be a quick one. A quick review of a product that I bought. This was not sent to me. It is an M2 NVMe enclosure that you could put an M2 drive into and then connect it to a PC externally, sort of like this one back here, and be able to access it, uh, read from it, write to it, use it as a, potentially use it as a, a regular USB storage drive if you'd like to. I didn't buy it for that particular purpose, but obviously if you have a spare M2 drive that you're not using, like I have this 128 gigabyte M2 that came out of a laptop that's just sitting on the shelf right now. So I could actually take that one and, and go ahead and use it for that purpose. However, the main purpose I did it for was to do copies of a M2 drive. So for example, if I'm upgrading from like a one terabyte to a two terabyte, this would come in very handy for that purpose because I could put the either, either one, I could put the new one or the old one into this, have the opposite or the one I want to copy to or from in the PC, and then actually clone them over without any real problem using any, any one of number of different softwares that is available out there for that. I happen to use a Cronus, but you don't have to use that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open this up, take a look at it, and then I'm going to install this little M2 drive into it, and then we're going to do a quick test to see how it works. So let me open this one up. Okay, what do we got in here? We got the actual enclosure. I'm going to put the ad up on the screen as well for this video so you can see it costs about $15 before shipping or tax depending on what applies to you. So it looks like a giant tube, sort of like uh, from Star Trek, one of those uh, photon torpedo things. <laughs> what else does it come in here with? It comes with a cable. It's supposed to be plug and play, so we shouldn't really have to uh, worry too much about putting any drivers. As a matter of fact, I don't think it even comes with drivers, or you couldn't even find them on the website for Ugreen, which is the company that I bought this from, through Amazon, of course. And I'll have the link down below for that as well. We open this guy up, and it's a USB Type-C cable. So the connector on the back of this is USB Type-C. That's pretty handy. If you have a PC that has a USB drive uh, Type-C connected to it, this runs at very high speed if you connect it through the, the Type-2 USB 3.1. I guess you could connect it to a regular Type-1, but you'd have to get the adapter that converts the USB-C over to a USB-A if you want to do something like that. Okay, so put the M2 drive in here and be able to use it. You see this little arrow here? This shows you the way you load it. So to get it out, you would do it in the reverse. Push at this end here, and then pull it out that way. Once you got it out of here, you want to see this little clip here, this little plastic, black plastic clip, kind of hard to see there. But it's right now pointed in that direction with the top plastic. You've got to push it down like that. That unlocks it, and then you can pull the whole clip out. So this is what it looks like up close. You see a little ridge in here between the two in the middle of that? That's where the M2 drive has to slot, right inside that little ridge that's in there. So we have this out like this. Let's take the M2 drive, which I have here, and you just push it into the socket, very similar to a motherboard, the top half of it. You'll see the little plastic clip in there as a guide. There we go. So it's inside, make sure that the lands disappear into the socket, right? Right in there, make sure that you don't see any lands. Then you take this clip and you've got to attach it to the back of the drive. Like that. And once that's the case, you push it all the way down, back into its position, and it should go right into that little hole down there. And when it does, you turn it again so that the long part is pointing that way and now it's locked in place okay we then take it and we push it back in to the case and we're all done and we want to test it we put the cable on the usb c cable connects right in here and the other end will go to the pc if you have a usb c again if you don't have that you have to get an adapter 
they didn't it did not come with this which will slow it down because uh, only usb type c with usb 3.1 version 2 would go at the full 10 gig so let's go ahead now and hook this up to the computer okay let me plug this thing in here and see what happens to the external usb c whoop a little light came on and it connected up to the computer. I was capturing the uh, disk drives that are on this system. And you see it popped up with a drive E. And this drive E has uh, actually a version of Windows installed on it. Let's do a quick test of that. I'm going to go ahead and run um, one of the utilities and see what the performance test looks like. So let me go ahead and open up testing software and see what we get. So we got Crystal Dismark here. We will run it and see what we get. And I'll run it on that drive. Okay, let's change it to drive E. And we will say all. Let's see what kind of speed we get. Now this is only a times two M2 drive. So it may not be at optimum speed, but let's see what we get here. I see the, the light blinking on the tr actual drive itself. So it is running. It's still climbing 944. I'll zoom ahead at this point. Okay, that uh, concludes it. Not super fast, but still nearly twice the speed of a SATA drive. Again, this is a times two M.2 drive. So it's really low, low speed overall. Rather cheap drive that I happen to have lying around. Well, I take care of this quick little box opening and test of this uh, Ugreen M2 drive external enclosure that's connected via USB type C 3.1 revision two. So it goes pretty fast if the drive supports it. And as you can see by the test that I did after connecting it to my computer, it did much better than the SATA drive would ever do. So this thing is picking up some pretty, some pretty hefty speed. What, what do you think? Anyway, wanted to go ahead and uh, show you guys this. And if you got something out of this video that you found useful, if you could at least consider subscribing to my channel, that would be very, very helpful. So until the next time, take care and stay well.